Hello guys, welcome back to Skillshare. My name is Kwame Chumisi. So today's one is really, really exciting, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to create email signatures, okay? It's about time your, your emails are top-notch, okay? So when you send emails to your client, um, you, you, you need to make them feel that, hey, this, this guy's business is really professional or this guy is really professional. And trust me, um, creating email signatures is really, really easy. It's really, really, really easy. It's not rocket at science and today I'm going to show you guys how to do that so I'll show you how to create the emails then I'll show you how you guys can create it in Gmail I'll also show you guys how to create this in um, Outlook without wasting much time let's get right into it so what are we going to cover I'm quickly I'll quickly show you how to create the email signature using a free tool I always use um, then when we're done with that, I'll show you how to copy and paste the signature we create in Gmail. And I'll also show you how to copy and paste the signature we create in Outlook. Without wasting much time, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, guys, so we're going to use a free tool. Okay, it's called Mail Signatures. Uh, mail slash signatures.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description section below. Okay, so they have a lot of templates you can use to create your email. So what I'll do is I'll just go to um, Signature Generator, as you see here. And they have a lot of templates okay so it's um, four steps so the first step is um, we have to choose a platform so we can either choose Outlook Outlook 365 Apple mail Gmail yeah so all the platforms that you can choose step number two is we have to choose our template step number three is we have to enter the details of our company okay and step number four is we just apply so step number one i'm going to choose gmail we're going to do gmail first okay so gmail step number two is um i'll quickly choose the template so we use that template um, this one looks really nice um, Actually, I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. All right. So we've chosen our template. Okay. So step number three is um, we have to enter our details. So as you can see, I've already entered my details. But I'll quickly go through with you. So Kwame. So Kwame Chumisi, um sales and marketing. You input your email address here. If you've got a phone number, landline you put it here mobile number you put it here as you can see i've already populated everything here then you come to the company details so it's vip.clothes and the website you have to put your company website here so i'll just go to my company website url come back here and um, i'll put that one here okay now the address to you just have to put your company address here so I'll go unit two. Yep, I change our house. Um, mile seven. Yeah, Accra, Ghana. Okay, so VIP dot is the company in unit two. I change house mile seven looking nice over here now the graphics so for the graphics you need um to upload your if you're going to use your um, business logo you can upload here but you need a link to that okay so if you already have like a wordpress website what you can do is just log into the wordpress website go to your media go to your library and add the image okay so once you add the image um then just go to the image you want to use then go and copy the URL. So where you see where my mouse is, file URL, you just copy the link over there. Come back here and paste it here. Okay. But in case, um, in case you don't have a WordPress website, okay, there's um, a tool called um, Post Images. Okay. So what you can do is um, go to postimages.org. As you can see here. Then um, when you come here, go to do not resize my image. Make sure that is selected. Make sure your image doesn't expire. Okay. Then go to choose email. Um, sorry, choose image. Select the image you want to use. Go open. Yeah. So this is a free tool. This is if you don't have WordPress website. Okay. So it's going to populate a lot of links for you. 
then you go to um, select the one that says direct link okay so I'm gonna select the second one you can't click here to copy then come back to the um, the e um, email signature tool then go to the image URL and just paste it there okay and it's going to work like magic and your image will populate here as easy as that now where do so once when someone clicks on our email where do we want to take the person if you have a website you can put the website URL there um, do you can put a banner if you want but we don't have any banner so we'll just remove that banner link so this is another image you want to put so if you have like multiple images you want to put then you can put that there but we don't need that okay now we go to the style so we have to do this to suit our branding as you can see my branding is like blue so I'll change the font color this one to like blue something bluish you know um, yeah I like this one I'll leave it as it is yeah then I'll change the green here to my branding color so everything looks nice okay then yeah you can change the font here too if you want to now social media links so if you have any social media accounts too you can um, use them okay so you can just paste all your social media links here and it will all come here nicely okay but I'm gonna leave this as it is okay so when if we like the signature we see here all we have to do is um you can remember your details if you want and just go apply signature then you go to the copy um link here so just copy it now um let's go and add this to our gmail account okay so i'll just go to my gmail account i've already logged in so just log into your gmail um, gmail account go to the settings here click see all settings okay so underneath the general tab go all the way down as you can see I already have um, email signature but I'm going to delete this okay then I'll show you how to create one from scratch so um, we go to um, signature then we go create new I'll give my signature a name so I'll call it um, um, Kwame I'm also called Prince by the way so Kwame Shumisi then I'll go create okay so on at this section where the mouse is you just go and you control V paste your email signature there as easy as that okay then we come down here and select um, the email you want to use it for so when you look at my accounts I've got VIP um, dot close like gmail I've also got info at VIP dot close dot com I want to use this email signature for both emails so I'll select the first one for all new emails use parameter message email when I'm replying to emails so automatically use it then I also come to the second one info at VIP dot close again I'll select the emails we just created so when I'm sending an email automatically it will use our signature email yes yeah, so once we're done with that check if everything is nice and everything is in order then you go all the way down here then you go save changes as you see here we click on that tada it's saved okay so to test this we just go compose and automatically our email signature should populate okay yeah so with every um, email we send yeah automatically our email signature will populate and it's really really easy guys it's really really easy again now let's do it for Outlook so again we'll, we'll repeat the same process we go to Outlook and since we've already going um, entered all our details yeah we just click on Outlook we go copy we don't need to re-enter our details again okay we go copy then we go into our Outlook email so I'll open Outlook for you guys okay so when you go to Outlook just go to the file yeah go to the file tab at the top okay now go to options as you can see here click on options now um, click on the mail tab now look for signature so as you can see here create or modify signature for messages I'll go signatures okay so as you can see I've already got one signature here okay as you can see here but I'm going to create a new one so you just go new I'll just give this name as um, Kwame Chumisi or let's use our business email so VIP dot close something like that so I remember then I'll go okay 
all right so i'll just paste the signature here nice so it's pasted the signature here as you can see nicely okay now the email account i want to associate this with i'll have to select the vip.close now for every new email i want to use vip.close when i'm replying to every email vip.close as easy as that then i just go okay okay then i go okay again all right so now um with vip.close i'll click on that email account and if i'm going to send a new email Ta-da! So, as you can see here, with every new email, automatically it populates for me. Okay, so it's really, really, really easy, guys. And this marks the end of this tutorial. So I'm going to leave um, a link to mail slash signatures underneath. You can click on it and play with it. And I'm also going to leave a link to post images in case you don't have a WordPress website. You can upload all your images here, so you can use the link, copy the link, and paste in mail slash signatures. If you have any questions, feel free. Um, to comment below and I'll be there to help you out. If today's the first time you're coming on Startup Hustle, please show you some love and click on that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so when we release any um, useful content, you do not miss out. My name is Kwame Chumisi. I'll see you again next time with another amazing Skillshare tutorial. Bye!